And as I may have mentioned, GEDmatch is an open source website database that anyone can sign up for and look around in for, for family members. It was set up basically by volunteers as a genealogy website. So it's a chance for people to search their family tree for possibly uh, you know, many other reasons. For instance, uh, adopted uh, children, when they grow up, maybe they're looking for adult siblings, etc. And they can do all that either through DNA or not necessarily through DNA, just checking, just examining the family trees that are already there. So someone can enter their own name or a relative's name, and there may be a whole family tree there that they didn't know about, tracing them back to Scandinavia or whatever in the 1700s when the great-great-grandparents might have come over. But uh, the breakthrough was they caught Joseph D'Angelo, the Golden State Killer, who committed crimes back in the 1970s, I believe, 37 years ago, if I have it right, maybe 70s, early 80s. Terrible crime spree, and they caught him through using GEDmatch. And I apparently the, someone in New Hampshire, some law enforcement um, body in New Hampshire used it. And then the, the California investigator on the D'Angelo case, who was getting ready to retire, kind of tried everything else decided, let me try this, because they had luck with it there. And what all law enforcement did was enter the DNA they had on, on file for uh, the unknown suspect, who they thought was the Golden State Killer. And they, the idea is to see if it matches to a family member in, a fam in the family tree, even deep into the family tree. And once you're deep into the family tree, you have a chance at legitimately finding the person. So all it really takes is one family member, even a distant family member, going on a late night infomercial site, and, you know, and and joining Ancestry.com or something called 23andMe. And I believe of those sites, they spit into a cup or they swab something out of the inside of their cheek and they send it in and then the lab processes it and enters their DNA profile and then they can search against uh, and to try to find family members. They can also try to find their genetic makeup. If someone thinks they're Northern European, they might be surprised that they got some, uh, you know, Southern Southern Italian in them or something like that. But uh, the bottom line is all it takes is one of those people to, to go on Ancestry.com and enter that, and then they have an option to uh, expand their search by uploading the results to GEDmatch. So GEDmatch is this huge database, it's kind of like going to the library and searching in the in the catalog of everything, uh, every book, whatever. And so all it takes is one relative. One relative has done that, and the Zodiac, for example, if his if they come up come up with a DNA sample and his matches just one person in that database, then they are in the tree and they'll probably figure it out. Uh, sometimes old-fashioned detective work. And sometimes it's circumstantial. Sometimes somebody might come forward. Sometimes they end up in Facebook and old high school yearbooks and doing things the old-fashioned way. But if they're in the tree, the killer should be in that family tree. And so that's uh, that's changed everything with law enforcement now. There's hundreds of cold cases now that are being run through GEDmatch. And apparently there's a 50% success rate at this point. So apparently if they take an un, the DNA of an unknown suspect from a cold case crime scene and run it through GEDmatch, apparently half the time currently they're going to run into one family member in, in the family tree, fourth, fifth cousin, great-grandparent, whatever it may be. That's going to be 50% of the time. So it's not a slam dunk. And so, again, the Zodiac is just one of many cold cases currently being explored it had been jump started basically because of this breakthrough with Jed Match and the way they caught the Golden State Killer. So apparently, the Zodiac DNA is currently being examined at a lab in Hayward. That'd just be my guess. I, mean, I haven't read anything about that, but there's a lab, private lab in Hayward, and one of the key people there is. 
someone who was originally in charge of the SFPD crime lab, if, if I have that straight. And so they're probably testing the, these envelopes and stamps to see if they can come up with anything. And probably more time with silence is, is favorable. That probably means they're, they've come up with something and they're trying to run it through GEDmatch. They're not announcing that they failed. So we'll have to see. Okay.